Thank you. Please make yourself comfortable. Our Lord is awesome. Touch somebody, say, Beloved, you are welcome to church. Thank you, Jesus. Do you know something about yourself? Do you know that your life is a mystery? In the sense that so many things, so many things that is happening to you is not by your power. It's not by mere mind, but by the Spirit of God. Sometimes we find ourselves in a bad condition, very bad. It looks like all hope is lost, all hope are gone. But God knows why. There's something you need to know about yourself. Okay. When God brought the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt, he said to them, my angels will go with you. King David made it clear, he said that God gives his angels charge of our life. The question, can God allow his people to suffer? Yeah. Why must I suffer? I remember something this morning. What was that? A few years ago, 2015, 16, 17, my days of persecution and humiliation, days of heartbreak and rejection, my days of suffering and tears and sorrows. Months, days, weeks, I never find sleep in my eyes. Days of crying, day in, day out. But I'm trying to understand the mystery of life those days. But I never renounce my faith. I keep on believing what I believe like never before. I know that God is behind that. When I get out from that temptation, something came into me. And that's what I want the world to know about it. Young lady, if you are in temptation in the life, your, your life is messed up. Young man, if your life is messed up, what does that signify on me? God is preparing you. God is trying to activate you. God is trying to make you look more strong. Strong. Temptation will make you to be strong person. If you never give up your faith. Sickness will make you to look more strong. If you never give up your faith. I can fall sick Okay, let me tell everybody there's one and stubborn sickness I've ever known in this world. The most stubborn sickness I've ever seen or have seen in life simply means ulcer. This disease called ulcer is more dangerous than HIV. Ulcer is more dangerous than any deadly disease you can talk of. Because also will be in you and pretend that also is not in you. Also can make somebody run mad. Also can make you to have a heart attack. Also can make you to throw out. Also can make you to reject all kinds of food you like. Also can, also can make you to lose, lo lose your memory. You lose your memory. Also can do that. Is the worst and stubborn sickness in life. Then how comes also into somebody's uh, body system? Fasting and prayers can cause also. Fasting and prayers. Eating something that is too peprish, as an African we are. Eating something that is too hot can cause you also. Hot drink can cause you also. Cigarette and any smoking something can cause you also. But remember, sometimes 
you are involved in one's disease or sickness or another so many questions has been going on in your heart you be asking so many questions within yourself i'm a child of god why am i suffering this i'm a child of god why am i passing through this temptation god knows that you are a child of god but he's trying to make you strong i believe that this temptation is simply means for me to have experience of life yeah that's why i'm tempted that's why you are tempted delay in business delay in marriage a young man was came to me yesterday in the office and he was crying the first question i asked him have you gotten married he said no he said disappointment 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 temptation and he was crying he said man of god i need a good wife i need a wife to live wait anybody i brought in into my life she will stay with me before you know she'll go and see another man and come back you know this is all i'm seeing god has a purpose of that so you can never say in life as long as there is breath in you you say people are talking about testimony i'm not involved i have nothing to testify i have nothing to testify says who you have a lot of things to testify but i'm going to take you to the holy book there's something i want you to know i want you to know about this wonderful jesus somebody say i'm a testimony hallelujah so i'm taking to the book of first corinthians chapter one from verse six pardon first corinthians chapter six from verse 19 and 20. what know ye not that your body is the temple of the lord your body is the temple of the holy ghost which is in you which ye have of god ye are not your own verse 20 but ye are bought with a price therefore glorify god in your body and in your spirit which are god's okay what is the meaning of this your life your body is a temple of god number one you see god has bought you with a big price a higher amount of money for his glory in your body in your spirit which are God's your body your spirit belongs to God I repeat my body is the temple of God that's what the Holy Book says what does that mean no matter the situation the bad and the good there is a reason in that happening in that temple your body is just a moving temple few hours few minutes ago we are dancing and jubilating clapping smiling laughing rejoicing because we think we found ourselves in the temple of god so what we see in the temple of god is praises what we see in the temple of god is worship then my body is a moving temple in the sense that whatever that is happening in me is of the glory of god the temptations around me is for the praises of god so the holy bible said my body my spirit is of the lord which means his testimony then in the beginning of the creature god says something whatever god has created he said it is good God made mosquitoes and said, it is good. God made the white animals and said, they are all good. Including snake, God said, it is good. Okay. God made you and said, it is good. And say you be in charge of all this creature. What does that mean? God has so much respect for you he acknowledges you that you are his image 
but sometimes out of little temptation you are threatening your temple the temple of god which is your body if 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 this thing happen i'll come bear it i'll commit suicide a child of god i can't take it anymore this is too much for me I, I, I will stop myself I will take my life this life belongs to God that's what Holy Book says you don't take the life I must kill that man I, I will kill that lady for, for disappointing me upon everything I have done for her she left me to another man you can't kill her because you are not the creator of hers you don't do that you can't treat yourself and you cannot treat somebody. A wife see a husband with another woman. And she began to scream. Upon all the love I gave him, he is cheating on me. You know that kind of word. He is cheating on me. I can't take it. She kill herself. It's not good. He is cheating on me. I must kill him. You must not treat yourself or treat anybody's life. That person's life is the temple of God. Now, why must you see that? He may be in that condition for many years and months. You don't know. But sometimes God wants you to say. The reason is this. To make you strong. That you continue seeing things in life. I don't know what I'm telling somebody. God shows us something that will hurt us. He allows us to see. If you can bear it, it will make you look more strong. I don't know what I'm telling somebody here. Look at you, some young lady in my church here, and many places. You got married after two, five, six years. Your husband abandoned you and died. I'm just a young lady. You become a young widow. Why is all this happening to a child of God? A child of God will die. God knows where he or she is going after the, this life. But you that he left. The family that he left behind. God is trying to make them strong. I've been a strong person in the faith in the sense that the only thing that makes me happy, the one thing I value and I acknowledge I love so much happened to be the house of God, which God gave me the power to build. Before my eyes, it was taken away from me. There was no compensation from the government there was no consolation from the government when I was in that mess for many moons and two years and three months I came out from me now I'm, a, I'm too strong to face anything because I've gone to war, war, war battle I've been in a war front I've seen how people die in the war front. Temptation is for you to be in the war front. You have seen men as a young lady. You have seen women as a young man. You have seen them. You have seen promises. But you know man never keep his or her promises. So what you are asking me today, no problem, stop. I met a man in Tanzania years ago. He said, don't promise, but do it. People can give you all kinds of promises. But at the end, they never keep their word. I get what I'm saying. When God called the people of Israel in the, on the mountain of Sinai, He said, Come, let us have agreement. He took them into old, called the oath of insistment. He took them into old, called in another English word, covenant. He took them into old in the Hebrew word, called Malzuzah. He took them into old and made agreement with them. Within themselves, they agreed to that day. We will never worship any other God except you. And Moses returned to them, saying, Are you, do, you, do, you mean, do you mean it? Say, we meant it. God is whom we will serve all the days of our life. Brandon, after a few months, 
the same people after 40 days the same people the same people at that ground at that point they made that vow they made another God another God Moses was the leader Moses was the prophet Moses was the pioneer now when Moses came down and find out that these people has given up, they have denounced their faith. He was angry. He did something that he's not supposed to do. And God said, for being angry against them, you will replace that two tablet stone because you know what that means. He said, you must replace it. I'm not the one that's, you are not the one that's supposed to be angry with them. I'm the one. But nevertheless, I know how to take care of them. Hello? So people can break your heart. But God is making you strong. Holy Bible say, my life, my body is the holy temple of the most high God. You do know what that means? The holy temple. The evil will come and patronize me. Good things will come and patronize me. Every bad thing coming into me, every bad thought, or good thought, or bad thought coming into me at the end of faith, God decided what will happen. He will decide the right thing that will happen. If you force yourself, you force yourself, whatever will be, will be. about that whatever will be will be no matter how you fought you force yourself and God said my body is of the glory to God he has bought me with big amount of money for his testimony so I am rich I'm a testimony I am poor I am a testimony no matter whatever you are you have work to do for God a rich man has work to do. A poor person has work to do. It is only God that rewards us according to our works. So don't think God kept you behind. You are in the front page of the glory of God. For he is testimony. May you rise. Keep on celebrating Jesus. Keep on celebrating Jesus. Give it to Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. He said, I'm for his glory. Testimony. That's why I was made. A living testimony in good time and about time. I must not threat my life or somebody's life. For you doing this against me, I'm going to hurt you. Don't hurt anybody. Let it go. God knows the best. There's a reason why God pushed him out of you. There's a reason why God pushed her out of you. Sometimes when I look up to the people I want to believe and trust, I can't find them. I keep quiet because I've been seeing things in the ministry. Soldier comes, soldier goes. He's faithfulness is forever. You are faithfulness is forever. I release the power of the Lord upon you at life, your soul, your destiny. He said, You are of His testimony, you are of His glory. 
any spirits any bad thoughts that want to destroy the glory of God in you I cast them out of your life and I bring the glory of God to shine upon thee this season may God manifest his glory manifest his power upon thee may your career be of testimony somebody say another amen you give it to Jesus thank you Lord Plan to attend in Super Sunday service on 20th of March 2022 at Throne of Elias Ministry located at 130 People Road by Ojuzo Bridge, Aba Abia State, Nigeria. Come and experience healing, breakthrough, deliverance and other spiritual blessings from God through His Prophet, Reverend E.S. Emeka, including blessings that come from worship and praises led by gospel artists Cornelius Benjamin. Evangelist Kings J. Adesua, Kachi Okoro, and Chus Bazi remain blessed. Plan to attend in Super Sunday service. On 20th of March 2022, at Throne of Elias Ministry, located at 130 People Road by Ojuzo Bridge, Aba Abia State, Nigeria. Come and experience healing, breakthrough, deliverance, and other spiritual blessings from God through His Prophet, Reverend E.S. Emeka, including blessings that come from worship and praises led by gospel artist Cornelius.